All right, welcome to another edition of... Yo, can I, can I do my intro? Welcome to another edition of... CJ, I'm trying to do an intro, but if you, you want to just hop on, just, just hop just on trying there, to get man. some extra work in, man, that's I, all. I mean, I know it's victory week, and I know we can't take a day off, but we'll, we'll just hop on. Let's my just, bad, my bad. Let's just do this thing. You ready? Well, this is Viking Circle. It is presented by On Location. I got my guy CJ Ham, and it is victory week, the first week of the season. We finally got a win this year, and I'm excited for this upcoming week against the Cleveland Browns. How you doing, I'm man? I'm good, man. Chilling. Man. Enjoying this Victory Monday. So, being that you are from Minnesota, you've played 165 games in your career, including high school, in Minnesota. Wow. Well, for a Minnesota sports team. Okay. okay. Do wins hit different? Man, I, I just love to compete, so... Yeah, <laughs> you know, as long as we winning, as long as we winning, I'm feeling good, man. I know we should have got more wins by now, but we're, we're on the winning side of the, the spectrum now. Yep. So we know it's contagious. What has gotten us to this point to start getting back in the win column? Really, man, just consistency, uh, trusting in ourselves, knowing, uh, knowing knowing we have all the right people in place to do to win a lot of games to do a lot of great things and just stick just, just sticking to being us so i know you know win or lose on the field off the field you're still winning because when you go home your kids are that daddy's still a winner in their eyes and yeah. now you got a son yes, sir. What's, what's that dynamic like oh uh, it's been great you know i i, I love my girls you know, i've been, been been a girl dad you know majority mm -hmm. of my uh, of my parenthood um, but you know, it's been a blessing to have to have my son, you know, Cortez Ham the third, um, you know, namesake. It's, it, it's been awesome. So having three kids, what's what's one thing outside of football that you consume hours at a time being a dad? I mean, dancing really. You know, we we've, we've always been a huge dancing family. Okay. Um, my kids love music. Okay. Uh, Skylar, you know, Skylar started it out. You know, she. She had the she had the viral video a couple years ago, but um, you know that's really our life. You know we we in the kitchen in the living room, either we're playing uh, Kids Bot or some JoJo Siwa on the TV, or we're listening to to our Alexa and man we just dancing, singing, having fun. You ever find yourself driving into work listening to Kids Bot on accident? How you know, man? <laughs> How you know? How you know? <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, I get into the car, drop the kids off at daycare, and, you know, they're like, Daddy, listen to Kids Bop, you know, so I turn on some Kids Bop, and then for about maybe three, four days, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> hey, low key, Kids Bop is all right, man. You know, it because, really is. Because no matter how you look at it, it's the clean version of every song. It's the clean version of the song, that's it. That you want to hear it. <laughs> and you got a younger audience singing it. Yep, so yep. I know you got a lot of kids in the running back room, too. You got Dalvin Cook, <laughs> who's a kid at heart. You got Alexander Madison, Amir. I can keep going. They call you the dad of the group. Why is that? Um, I mean, because I'm the only one that's got that's got kids. Yep. You know, I, I, I got enough. I got enough kids for the whole running back room. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess you know, uh, I got I got the dad jokes. Okay. Um, you know, I dress like a dad. I got Crocs on right now. <laughs> um, you know, that, that, that that's really it. You know, I have that uh, that fatherly like uh, presence. You know, being a fullback, you know, you don't get the ball a lot, but you are making a lot of plays for other people to be able to make plays. So how much pride do you take in that? Um, you know, I take a lot of pride in it, actually. You know, uh, being a running back uh, my career in college, having a successful career as a ball carrier, scoring touchdowns, uh, you know, being the guy, um, I guess that's on the front page to now, uh, you know, being a fullback, mm -hmm. doing, you know, doing, doing the work that a lot of people don't really see or understand mm -hmm. um, unless you know unless you're a true football fan and you know it's like it's like watching the old line you know you don't you don't really know how great an old line is and, and until you know until, until you have a great running back or your quarterback's being very successful um, so I, I just take pride in uh, you know making sure my teammates are being successful if my if Dalvin's successful then that means that means I did my job old line did their job everybody else did their job and that, that's what it's all about what makes a fullback great because when I think of great fullbacks I think of like Mike Allstott's your you know Jimmy Klein saucers, the people of those names. So like yeah. what makes the fullback position great? Or what makes you great at what you do? Yeah, um, I mean it's different for every team, but uh, you know, obviously just being great at what at what the team calls calls for you to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's it's like I said, it's different for every team, but all those people 
um, are very, you know, they're very selfless. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they don't they don't care about getting the fame. Um, just like just like a, you know, pretty much all the players on our team. Yeah. Um, but I think I, I think that's a that's a good characteristic for any player, but for yeah. a fullback, as someone who just wants to go out there and get the work done and um, doesn't doesn't have to say much. We started an interview off talking about how we should be 3-0 right now. But yep. the record is what it is. We finally got a win in the win column. What is it going to take for us to get another win in Cle against Cleveland on Sunday in front of our home fans who were crazy on Sunday? Uh, yeah, the fans were fans were lit. It was uh, <laughs> it, it was awesome being back at the bank with, with the fans. Uh, it, we, we definitely we definitely missed definitely missed the fans last year. But um, really, I think it's just us believing in ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we've shown uh, every single week. You know, first week we didn't play well, but still had a chance. Um, second week, second week we, uh, we we put it together a little more, and then third week we finally put it all together. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, we know that we are a good team. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that we have all the right tools. We just got to continue to believe in ourselves and not not focus so much on what other teams are doing, but focusing on us and remembering that you know they have to they have to stop us. We don't mm -hmm. have to stop them. They got to stop us too. Well. We had a game like we did last game. It's not gonna be many, many too many teams stopping us. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking, looking forward to the to, to the future, man. Hey, most definitely. Me too, brother. My guy, CJ. Always a always pleasure, a pleasure man. man. Appreciate you. Viking Circle, CJ Ham.